Hey everybody, welcome to Jables Outdoors. Pretty exciting day today. I'm out at the gun range uh, with Kamikaze Cam. You can see we have an assortment of handguns here. We are both restricted license people now. Uh, Cam picked him up some, uh, picked himself up some Sig Sours. I picked up a Smith & Wesson M&P 45 and a GSG 922. It's a 1911 uh, based gun in 22 caliber. Anyways, stay tuned, we're gonna about to pop off. I'm gonna load up my new little 22 and have some fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, Cam. And we're out. Right on. All right, guys. I'm going to try out uh, Kamikaze Cam's SIG P329 millimeter. So we're graduating from the 22s up to the 9, and then we're going to hit the 45. I'm a little nervous, but really, really, really excited. That is just a thing of beauty. What a beautiful trigger on this. And I know nothing about handguns, but that just feels right. All right, we're stepping up to the 45, Smith & Wesson M&P, 45 caliber. That's it? You know what? <laughs> what? That was fucking incredible. Yeah? Uh, not as intimidating as I thought it would be, number one. Number two, uh, not loaded. This trigger feels like someone dropped it in the beach, and it's very grainy. But with ammunition in it, and you're pulling the trigger to shoot, it's actually pretty nice feeling. The M&P 45. Cam's turn now, brother. <laughs> That's uh that's pretty sweet. You notice that I was pausing, but uh, as a first time shooter, I really didn't know where to place my trigger finger. And I just noticed that when I was, when I was depressing the trigger finger, it kept catching, it kept catching on the, uh, the magazine release. When it's, so when it comes in fully, I just, uh, just wanted to see what that's about. But it shoots smooth. I hit paper. <laughs> it's uh yeah. It's a step up from the nine, that's for sure. Awesome. Awesome, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to pull the trigger 10 times as fast as I can, see if this gun can't keep up. Watch out for the brass. Licking shots with Jables.
So recently I heard of, uh, of a young couple in the States, they, uh, they tried to do some YouTube video and uh, shoot a phone book with a 50 cal. The guy would hold it and he thinks he thought the, the book would stop a 50 cal. That's ridiculous. And How is he holding it? I don't know. I didn't see the video. Oh. I don't even want to see the video. But uh, he's dead and I guess she's charged with manslaughter or murder. So hmm. it's stupid. Without you got to try things out before you, you, you know, enact them in real life. So I, I just have a, a stack full of paper I took from the office just to, to see what a 9mm could do to a pretty much uh, half a phone book, if, if you will. How many papers do you think that is, roughly? Oh, I don't know. We could do 300? We could do a head count later on. That's I'm over that. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, but it's a good, what is it, about well, an never, inch and a half thick. Yeah, I've never shot at, uh, at something like this. It's a block of paper. Um, that's two inches there, probably. Looks like two inches. So, anyway, we'll, we'll look at it. I, I don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to... And it's not like glued together or anything like that. It's you can no, see that it's, it's loose. Eyes and ears. Well, I think that went right through. I think so. Yeah. Sorry, that was a mosquito biting my forehead. <laughs> Well, it goes right through it. Oh yeah, no problem. Look at that, clean entrance and a dirty exit. So that means we should, in theory, be able to find a couple rounds sitting around right here. There. There's one right there. Look at that, wow. Neato. There's a 45. 